Hey everyone, thank you for choosing to watch my video and uh, for more videos on biochemistry and health topics. So take a look at my all other videos which are like around uh, 290 or 300 videos which are there in my channel. And also uh, please consider subscribing to this channel for regular updates. So in this video, I will be briefly explaining uh, importance of hexokinase and glucokinase in glycolysis. So the very first reaction in glycolysis is um, conversion of glucose into glucose 6-phosphate. Remember, once glucose is converted into glucose 6-phosphate, so it is an irreversible, one of the irreversible reaction in glycolysis is uh, the very first reaction, conversion of glucose into glucose 6-phosphate. This particular reaction is catalyzed by uh, hexokinase and the isoenzyme of hexokinase called glucokinase. So that means for the same reaction, there are two enzymes to catalyze the reaction that depends on in which tissue the glycolysis is going on. If the glycolysis is going on in all the peripheral tissues except liver and beta cell subpancreas. So, the enzyme for that is hexokinase and in the hepatocytes that is the liver cells and beta cell subpancreas, the isoenzyme of hexokinase called glucokinase is the one that will convert glucose into glucose 6-phosphate. Once glucose is converted into glucose 6-phosphate that means it is phosphorylated. So, the phosphorylated form of glucose it is uh, committed to the cell for metabolism because once glucose is phosphorylated it does not come out of the cell into the bloodstream because it is trapped as glucose 6-phosphate and the transporters are not there in most of the cells to uh, take this out of the cell. So, uh, glucose 6 what happens to the glucose 6 phosphate? So, the glucose 6 phosphate has got various, various options to go into metabolic pathways. It can go into glycolysis, it can go into glycogen synthesis, it can go into glycoproteins formation or a glycolipids formation, proteoglycan formation, it can go into pentose phosphate pathway. So, there are variety of metabolic options for glucose 6 phosphate to go in. In order to make this glucose 6-phosphate, glucokinase and hexokinase are the enzymes that will uh, catalyze the reaction. And note that conversion of glucose into glucose 6-phosphate, it needs a breakdown of ATP into ADP. So, and the phosphate, terminal phosphate coming from ATP, it will be attached with the glucose at the 6th carbon to make glucose 6-phosphate. And uh, breakdown of terminal phosphate uh, uh, of an ATP, it will give minus 7.3 kilocals of energy and this make reaction sufficiently exergonic and that is why the very first reaction in glycolysis that is conversion of glucose into glucose 6-phosphate, it is an irreversible step. Now, uh, what is the importance of having uh, two enzymes for the same reaction? So, in order to understand that, we need to know what is the uh, Km and Vmax for hexokinase and glucokinase enzyme. Let us first cover hexokinase then I will come to glucokinase. Hexokinase is a low Km enzyme and it is a low Vmax enzyme. As you know, uh, the meaning of Km, uh, so basically the one of the importance or significance of Km here, it is the lower the Km, higher the affinity for the substrate. So, the Km for hexokinase for glucose, it is 0.05 millimoles of glucose and that is a low Km. So, because the considering the blood glucose that we have like 5, around 5 millimoles, so, 0.05 which is 100 times uh, lesser than the uh, blood glucose concentration there. That means, uh, hexokinase it, it is always active in all the tissues, thereby it will make sure glucose is converted into glucose 6-phosphate even under low blood glucose concentration. And also, uh, hexokinase is a low Vmax enzyme that means it can be saturated easily. So, the purpose of this is having low Vmax, hexokinase will make sure only the amount of glucose that is needed for the cell is phosphorylated and commit that glucose for that particular cell into metabolic pathways. Anything that is in excess of the uh, need of that particular cell is not phosphorylated that means that glucose can go out of the cell into the bloodstream and that glucose can be taken up by any cell that needs glucose. So, this kind of redistribution of the glucose from the tissue that does not need uh, any more glucose 
So, it has to be sent out into the blood and so that other tissue that needs glucose can be used and that is a very important function of having a hexokinase a low Vmax and hexokinase having low Km will make sure uh, the tissue will get glucose at all times whereas hexokinase having low Vmax will make sure the tissue will use only that much amount of glucose whatever its needs are for ok. Anything that is in excess of its need it has to be sent out. Now, let us talk about uh, glucokinase. Now, the glucokinase Km is high it is 5 millimoles it is a high Km enzyme Km is 5 millimoles of glucose and also it is a high Vmax enzyme that means it can take as much glucose as possible uh, that means it does not saturate early compared to hexokinase. Now, the high Km meaning of high Km for glucokinase especially present in uh, hepatocytes and beta cells of pancreas. Whenever we take food right so our blood glucose level rises as the blood glucose level rises. So, uh, because you know Km for glucokinase is 5 millimoles of blood glucose. So, only so that means at 5 millimoles of glucose uh, glucokinase is reaching its half Vmax because that is what is the Km. Km is it is the substrate concentration at which enzyme reaches half of its Vmax. So, at higher glucose concentration uh, glucokinase is an active enzyme that means so it is active only when we are uh, under well fed condition. So, what is the importance of that? Remember whenever we eat food our blood glucose level rises and when the blood glucose level rises so liver uh, can uh, take that glucose in because remember liver has GLUT2 transporter which is again a high Km uh, transporter. So, it will allow glucose to get into the liver only when there is high glucose present in the uh, blood. So, that happens during a uh, well fed condition and uh, glucokinase present in the liver is also having a high Km enzyme. So, uh, these things will work only when we have higher blood glucose and it is going to commit that glucose for the liver by making it as glucose 6 phosphate and this will help to bring down uh, means to work only when there is high blood glucose available. So, this property of glucokinase uh, will make sure uh, glucose is not converted into glucose 6 phosphate whenever blood glucose level is lower. So, that is very important otherwise patient can uh, person can go into hypoglycemia if the glucokinase is uh, acting like a hexokinase having a low v max, uh, low Km. Let us talk about Vmax. If the glucokinase means glucokinase has got higher Vmax the meaning for that is uh, as long as the blood glucose levels are high and as long as it is coming into the uh, hepatocyte. So, it is converted into glucose 6 phosphate that means whenever blood glucose rises after meals. So, it has to be brought down to the normal range and that can be helped uh, in that sense by having glucokinase with higher Vmax ok. Otherwise remember if the glucokinase has got Vmax like exokinase. So, it would not be able to uh, convert all the glucose into glucose 6 phosphate. So, that will make person uh, having hyperglycemia because more glucose will stay back in the blood because this uh, mutated glucokinase having low Vmax would not be able to convert more of the glucose into glucose 6 phosphate. So, that is why uh, hexokinase having a low Km and low Vmax is important for peripheral tissues. Glucokinase having high Km and high Vmax is important for hepatocytes. Let us talk about uh, pancreatic beta cells why glucokinase is present there. So, in the pancreatic beta cells glucokinase uh, act as a glucose sensor. So, that means pancreatic glucokinase has GLUT2 transporter and the Km for means uh, it is going to allow glucose only when there is uh, blood glucose reaching uh, more than or equal to 3.9 millimoles which is around 70 milligrams per deciliter. Uh, so, as the glucose comes in so along with the GLUT2 transporter glucokinase in the beta cells of pancreas act as a glucose sensor it is going to convert glucose into glucose 6 phosphate rises the ATP levels by putting that into glycolysis as the ATP level rises in beta cells of pancreas. So, ATP sensitive potassium channels are closed and depolarization happens and that will increase uh, that will open up uh, voltage gated calcium channel calcium will get in into the beta cells and excess I mean increase calcium concentration means. So, the secretory vesicles which contains insulin along with the C peptide they will be secreted out by fusing with the cell membrane. So, that means uh, glucokinase along with the GLUT2 transporter 
will make sure insulin is released in response to higher glucose concentration. Remember, uh, glucokine is having higher K, uh, KM that means it works only when there is high glucose present in the blood and that is very important because uh, only insulin should be released into the blood when there is high glucose. Remember if the glucokinase is a low KM enzyme, if it starts committing glucose into glucose 6-phosphate and glycolysis goes on and insulin will re release uh, even at low glucose concentration. So, uh, that is why glucokinase is a high KM enzyme present in the beta cell subpancreas that will make sure glucose is re insulin is released only when there is high glucose present in the blood. Now, let us talk about uh, this is about uh, kinetics uh, para, kinetic, uh, para, kinetic, uh, kinetics of glucokinase and hexokinase. Let us talk about little more uh, on uh, regulation. Hexokinase is feedback inhibited by its uh, own end product that is glucose 6 phosphate whenever it is at high concentration. Uh, whereas, and also remember hexokinase is a glucose sensor in the hypothalamus also. Uh, glucokinase, glucokinase is not feedback inhibited by its uh, end product that is glucose 6-phosphate, but it is uh, induced by insulin whenever person is in well fed condition for a long period of time. Uh, so, uh, glucokinase is induced by insulin in the liver. So, whereas that kind of induction is not there for hexokinase. Now, now little bit, uh, let us uh, little bit talk about uh, what if there is a mutation in a gene coding for glucokinase in the beta cell subpancreas. So, that can give rise to a type of diabetes mellitus called maturity onset diabetes of the young type 2. So, this maturity mode this is the ref, uh, just uh, said as MODI type 2. MODI type 2 can be presented as uh, in it can have two types of uh, clinical presentation one is a symptomatic and other is asymptomatic. In a symptomatic person same classic uh, signs and symptoms of diabetes can be present polyuria, polydipsia, polyphasia uh, and in asymptomatic uh, presentation. So, that uh, MODI type 2 can be diagnosed whenever person goes in for uh, routine uh, uh, laboratory investigation or during pregnancy when the lady goes for uh, routine investigation. So, that is how the MODI can be diagnosed. So, this is all about uh, in brief I have covered most all the almost all points related with uh, very first uh, reaction in glycolysis and all other. Uh, the fate of glucose 6 phosphate that is conversion of glucose into glucose 6 phosphate. So, in my next video, so I will cover other uh, important enzymes in glycolysis. So, like this I am planning to review uh, all the important enzymes in uh, biochemistry. So, these are uh, brief and uh, brief review videos. Uh, you can go over the text and watch these videos so that you will get all the important points about a specific enzyme and specific reaction in uh, metabolic pathways. Thanks again for uh, watching this and uh, kindly consider subscribing to this my, uh, my channel so that you get uh, regular updates as and when I make a new video and I will see you in my next video. Till then you take care. Bye bye.